Below the multi-million dollar Magnolia Mansions, tucked in the cottonwoods there, is a childhood dream. I built a lot of forts. Yeah, I did. This isn't exactly what Ronnie Ray envisioned. I was going for a house that was maybe a bit ambitious for the current lay of the land, but I'm hopeful that someday somebody will be able to, to finish my goal. For now, the ultimate tree house will have to do. It's a cloudy day, but you can see where the sun's kind of sneaking in over there by Harbor Island. To get up here, you scramble up the rocks below, climb the stairs, and in you go to a sitting room slash camp kitchen. Up another set of stairs, you'll find the second room of two, complete with its chic chandelier. I didn't pick up a book for probably five years. And when I come up here, I'm, I'm an avid reader. I burn through them. Ronnie teamed up with legendary builder Pete Nelson out of Fall City, Washington. And I have a, a special surprise to show you. It is the levitating lighthouse. There she is, huh? This retreat in the trees was featured on Pete's show, Treehouse Masters. We've got a sink with the water catchment system. I mean, it really is rainwater that goes through. Check this out. Ronnie and his attorney are working through some issues with the city that he says will be resolved soon, even though... Well, everybody wants to stay. It was never meant to be a place to live. A place to come and get away. It's a, it's a vacation spot in the middle of the city, really. The antique nautical spotlight is part of the package, as are the 180-degree views. So that's West Seattle right there? Yes, that's West Seattle. Ronnie says even though it's just a walk on the beach away, it feels like a world away. When I get back to the city street, it kind of feels like you've gotten off a boat. You know, you, you, you put your feet on, on hard land and, and, you, and you, the adventure is over. I can sit out here all day. 